As parents get their planners and schedules ready for the start of the new school year, maybe you're thinking about adding a sport or another after school activity. WPTV's Hani Rodriguez spoke with a mom and a licensed mental health counselor for tips on how to find balance and make sure your family is not overscheduled. I'm just go, go, go. It's almost dinner time at the Soto's house. It's gonna be public meatballs, sauce, and pasta. As simple as can be. Because life is busy with three boys, seven, five, and two. Adrian and Andrew, my oldest two, are doing karate. Um, they do it once or twice a week, and then they're going to start soccer. It's going to be a lot of afternoon soccer games at 6 p.m., so dinner needs to be ready prior to that. Melissa Soto is trying to balance her kids' sports, school, family time, and her photography business. I'm going to have to slow down with my sunset sessions and take more morning sessions. It's a lot of adjusting. We reached out to Dr. Carrie Longest, a licensed mental health counselor, for her advice to parents juggling a lot. Transition slowly in and not be quick to have to jump and it's okay to take a break. As a mom herself, Dr. Carey says she tries to remember this. When you say yes to something, you're saying no to something else. I feel like we want to do it all as moms. Right. And sometimes it's just, we can't. Doing too much, you tend to increase depression, anxiety symptoms. What would you say are maybe the top three signs that your child is overscheduled? I would say most definitely sign changes in mood changes in appetite and changes in interaction with um, the family. Part of Melissa's new goals are to slow down and spend more afternoons like this. In World Palm Beach, I'm Honey Rodriguez, WPTV News Channel 5. And Dr. Longest also believes there are benefits to unstructured play, which she says can help kids learn how to manage downtime, how to learn to be creative and problem solve.